Look at me smile. <laughs> hi, my my. <laughs> Say hi. trying to construct it it has it hasn't been easy but these did went up easier than my bedroom curtains um i made some boo-boos but you can't really see them and it's really right over there that i that uh, i can't zoom in i have it on cinematic because i heard a youtuber other youtuber talking about the quality of it but it doesn't zoom in mm -mm -mm. So this is how it's looking right now. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the curtain and put the rods together. Cause as you can see, they came like this and I have to go ahead and put them together. If it's blurry, forgive me because I'm trying to understand this cinematic. <laughs> if I even pronouncing it right. Hey y'all, I have another package. But this one here should be the shared curtain. I'm really curious to see how it is because I got a 95 by 52. Ooh, I thought I got an ivory. This is white. I thought I got an ivory color, but this is the color it is. And it's thicker. Oh, that's why I tell you. I'm a, I'm, mm, mm, mm. It is thicker, but you know what? I'm not going to be too mad at it. Because when I have the curtains open up, it should allow some light to come through while giving privacy. So like I said, I have the brackets up. Let's go ahead and put it on. <laughs> not going to work because this doesn't go over okay no finger <laughs> so the rod doesn't go all the way over and reach i thought i would have been able to get th um get through it and also the curtain doesn't go all the way down which i'm not too mad at it i want to see if this one here is going to go all the way down because that's the one that's going to be on the outer tear but kind of not too mad at it I like how much space I'm getting from the top of the ceiling to where the curtains rods are to where the window are. So I'm going to have to go ahead and order the curtain rod, <laughs> the longer one, so that it'll be able to fit. But y'all, it is looking good. And like I say, this is not the share that I was looking for. This has like a combination of linen slash polyester. But I am not mad at it. Let me see how this one on the chair is going to hit the floor. But like I say, it's giving a little high waters, but not too much. Not too much. Yeah, I tried to wipe off the lens. There's a cast on it, but we, we move. So I have those two up right now. And I'm going to take it down because I end up getting another curtain because this wasn't long enough so i'm gonna go ahead and change it out i did switch up my room so that's my office back there i had mad cords down there and i was able to tie it up now i have three cords which they have to be there because i do um have a standing desk so i could raise it up or raise it down and it'll go and if the cords are too short they're gonna th tug on it and cause the um devices to shut off i, I don't have time <laughs> so this is my office section back there 
but I like how it's cleaned up with the um, cords. Don't mind my dog. She, what is she doing? So it's way more cleaned, okay? And I switched it over and put this here. And now we have the individual couches right here. At first it was the other way around where these two couches were where this couch is and this one is was over there. But being that these two are reclining chairs, they both need an outlet. So I thought if I was ever supposed to put it back like this, this long couch would be perfect here because I only need one outlet. So <laughs> that's the spiel. If you didn't see how it was, check out my other videos because I'm pretty sure it is in my other videos. But I did get um, a new curtain. Oh, and in my other video, I did mention that, that I had a wall mirror in my bedroom. Those That was the mirror that I had there. And then I also got that pot from Kohl's. They were on sale. And it was half off. And I do plan on repainting it. But that's another video for another day. Let's get into this um, curtain rod. I do have the curtains out. Because like I said, I was intending to put it up the other day. But that did not happen. And yeah, once I do that, this is the old rug that was there. I also switched out the rug. My dog bed is right there. And then I also got some extension cords. No, I got one extension cord because at first my coffee station was pulled more to the side here. And I said, no, 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 no. I don't really want it like that. But because I didn't have a long extension cord that I could have concealed, I had it to the wall. But now it's in the right position. I had to switch the scented, wall scented that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And from here, I put it over there. And then the Zeebo, well, it's not a Zeebo, but I had it by the next to the fireplace. And um, that's where the plants were. And since I'm going to actually put the plants on this side, I need to get a riser for them. But, yeah, <laughs> perform my babies. And I just noticed I've been getting more fruit flies. My dad has said that over by the door, there was a little um, gapage. But I don't see the gapage. But there is something gapping in one of these crevices because I'm ha like having little flying insects come in. I don't know how, I don't know why. I don't know if that's my daughter going outside and not closing the door and then acting like she don't know what's up, but I don't like it. So yeah, and then these are some kinds of food that I'm gonna go ahead and take to the food bank, but this is how it look. And we're going to get started with this rod. So I end up getting the 72 by 44 in. <laughs> 72 by 44? Really? The 72 by 144 inch, which will be the perfect length for what I'm going for. And look at Missy Mom. Look at Missy Mom. <laughs> Say hi. Please forgive the cats. Oh, I can't close the windows. I can't close the windows. Well, let's see. And this rod that I'm about to unbox is actually the rod I was going to get for my bedroom initially. But the one I end up going with that's in my bedroom was on sale so I didn't go with that <laughs> so, oh and these are bronze which would match my fireplace because my fireplace in the pictures it looked more black than um but it is a dark walnut so this bronze would complement the um brown hue in it but this is how the connectors look I don't even know if I was in the frame just now <laughs> Over here, standing off to the side. Ooh, 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 they have it to where you could open it like this. Do I, do I, do I, do I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have it to where you could open it like that on the side. The people who mow the lawn are actually on the other side. Okay. And 
then this is the knobs. Mm. The knobs are supposed to be a little bit more fun. So are these extra knobs? Hold on. I don't know if that's the knobs. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the knobs for the second round. And this is it. I love it. It's quite big and voluptuous. And this rug, while I prepare myself, I got it from Costco and it was advertised as an indoor outdoor rug. So you know how like usually the rugs for the inside would be nice and um, fluffy? This rug is more coarse, but I love the design. I love the design. I can't go and tell you. My love, what did you eat? I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I love the design. And although it's more coarse, I don't mind. So when I um, initially put up the curtains, I noticed that it was actually a little too high. So I'm going to make sure that I don't do it as high. Where's my pencil? Now I'm gonna take off the other two notches up there. I already have those two up and I'm gonna do the third one and I said let me come on the camera and finish it up yeah I had to do some jiggle my but we are ahead and then for this one I actually started it and ooh, don't drop Jill don't drop okay so I already put the clear thing in the wall. Oh, actually with this one here, let me see something. Okay, yeah. so you screw the screw because the way how it's set up, I initially bought this because I was thinking that it would be just one screw needed but it actually have two screw holes. Just like the one in my bedroom, it's literally just like it. But luckily, because I did the one in my bedroom, it's easier to do the one down here, and I cannot figure out the rhythm of things. So that's how it goes. So you have to stick it in and slide it down for it to drop in. Good. Just 
try to put it as tight as possible so when this slide in it could drop and have an anchor. I don't know if y'all could hear me from my book, but bear with me. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so tell me this crooked. Um, nah, he's really. <laughs> so because you have to drop it in, I couldn't do it, like I couldn't just align it and then mark it out i had to make sure i drop it in and then mark it out because sometimes when it drops the alignment may be off so food for thought I came down and I just want to show you how it's set up. So you see how it's shaped, like uh, um, the holes on the bottom. How is it shaped? Hmm. So it's big on the bottom and it comes up slim. So you push the um, nail through it and then you slide it up and it anchors there. So again, if you go ahead and you like mark it out, sometimes when you slip it in and drop it down, this may not align. So uh, yeah. That's why I've been having to do more work. But when I saw the picture, it only had the one hole. So I was like, okay, this should be easier, but it came exactly like how my bedroom was. But like I said, because I did the one in my bedroom, this one is a tad bit more easier to get completed. It's called trial and error, honey. Um, we did the trial, we did the error, And we got it. And when I tell you, my wall is so messy. <laughs> Between the drill going too far, rubbing up on the paint, to me ponging the lights out of it, it is messy. And then I, I, I had to drop it down a little lower. But it's fine because you wouldn't notice it from afar. Plus the curtain is going to go up. You're not going to notice it. But good grief, honey. I'm definitely not a professional. Okay. So now the tedious part is over. We can get into the fun stuff. It had an extra. We can get into the fun stuff. Just gonna try and pick up the little garbage. I'm trying to pick up my garbage. Okay. So, let me see. And I kind of like this better than the other one because the other one, I have to stick it through and feed it through. Whereas this one, I drop it down and then tighten the screw and it's good. So I kind of prefer this over that because it was too much. So wait. It's supposed to have an extension. Okay. So now it's... Ah! Oh, is that my mind? My, <laughs> my, um... The rat tapped my dog and she's so scary. Okay. So again, like I was telling you in the other clip, I thought this would have been a little bit more share. It is a 52 by 95. And I'm glad now that I'm seeing it that it's not that share because if I just want the blackout curtains to be pulled to the side, this would give me enough privacy if the neighbors do walk through the back. So, I'm not too mad, not too sad. So, I'm going to go ahead and connect this on this side. 
and then where the extension is where the extension i might have but let me put this up let me just put both of them up i love the thickness on it i think this is sheer polyester if i'm not mistaken it is good to me if you like quality the one i have in my room is truly sheer but that's fine because when the sun drops, that's when I did use the blackout curtain. But these is a more thicker share. And like I said, I am mad at it. And to make life. <laughs> I'm telling you, my dog jumped for every little thing. Every little thing that she do. <laughs> okay. So instead of trying to see if it's going to be the perfect length, I'm just going to go ahead and put them both on. So that when I'm up on the ladder, I wouldn't have too much of a heavy. Okay. But if it turns out that I don't need it, it's coming off. Oh yeah, it is 52 inches by 95. Because the one in my room is 94 inches. And so I thought that these wouldn't fit. Ugh, beautiful! And this was on sale, y'all. This was for $10. And ooh, it's no more high water. <laughs> no more high waters. If my daughter could be um good morals but i just making sure that on both ends it's long it's taking out long enough and that one isn't short compared to the other side and it's perfect it is perfection so i just want to go ahead and i'm tightening this screw so that it could drop down flush bring bang boom and now I'm tighten it so that it doesn't move. Y'all, get you some curtains. Get you some curtains. If you wanna feel fancy. Fancy like me and say. Bam, bam, ch -ch -ch I love it. Oh, for downstairs, this is perfect. Now I'm thinking about actually getting these for upstairs because it's so thick but still allows you to see the light coming through. So this is the 95 inch curtain that I have upstairs. So everything worked out perfectly because I had these for upstairs and at first I thought I had gotten the right size and up it was not the right size that I clicked. And now it actually work out. And let me actually see if this, if I could put this in on without the extension. Because I kind of feel like I don't really need the extension. 
And actually, I kind of do this backwards because I didn't put on the notes. Yeah, I didn't do it. But these gold curtains would be way better downstairs. <laughs> And now these are the nuts that come with this one. And like I said, this was the one I was gonna get first. But the ones I have upstairs was on sale. So I'm glad that I actually get to, got two different things. Because the one that I initially had that was too short was similar to the ones. <laughs> Why the curtain fall? Why the curtain fall off? <laughs> why? Oh my. And if you want to do this easy, just fold it. Instead of putting it all on, just fold it like this. Make sure the pleats are, are hitting the holes. And then you slide it all in. Please. <laughs> like. Oh, let me go ahead and move the curtain. This says, yeah, I'm glad I dropped it down because now it's a perfect length. Ooh, y'all pray for your sister. She don't have no mister. <laughs> they don't pay me for this, y'all. They don't pay me for my talent. Okay, boom. So let's see now. Because I know the other one looks cool. Oh, shoot. For this, I actually don't need. Huh. <laughs> I didn't need the extender. I didn't need the extender. The extender is extremely long. But since I have it, I'm actually going to use it because I don't want to put too much tension on it. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to abuse them. So this is the extension cord. It could fit all the way, but again, I just, for protection, let me use them. And it look like this one here is a little bit lower. I don't know how that happened because the back fits a good. But we move. We move. Absolutely. Tightening them. Kids don't do this at home. <laughs> Ooh, I feel good, Jenny. I know that I would. So good, did, did. Yeah. She is a business. And you don't have to tighten it, but for added security, you need to tighten. Ta-da! We got a winner. <laughs> we got a winner. So it goes all the way down. It doesn't hit the floor all the way, but that's fine. I have no problem with that. It's not high waters to the point where I can see it's ankles. So, and like I said, I usually... Depending on how I change around my couches, you wouldn't even be able to see this. Like right now, this is going to go up to that. So you're not going to see that side. This one here is going to come back and cover parts of it. But it is beautiful. And then if I don't want, 
and I want to just draw it back. This is the right amount of share that gonna give a girl a little bit of privacy. So yeah, if you like this video, do like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like these blackout curtains, go ahead and get it. I'm going to definitely purchase me another one of these sheer curtains because I love the thickness of it as well as the privacy it gives. The one I have upstairs is a little bit more sheer, but this one here is like a linen polyester mix. Get into it.